Hey guys, Super X here to talk about what year we're in. It's 2015. These are 2015 Rio's Mods. Why is that significant to you? You know Rio's Mods have been around forever. For one reason, they're probably the most durable mod on earth. And in late 2014, early 2015, changes were made to make them not only even like bulletproof durable, like unbreakable durable, um, changes were made to the contacts. Contacts that make them highly sub-ohm capable. Beryllium coated, um, gold plated beryllium copper hot spring. Um, beryllium coated, gold, gold plated beryllium copper positive contact. Very simple mod, it's a bottom feeder. Everything about it's simple. It also was changed just very recently to hot swappable, no tools, bottle removal. Um, I'll show you exactly how that works. Before I do, I'll show you the premise of how a Rio works. If you look down in that hole, you'll see juice comes up and it feeds your atomizer. And then it goes down, back down, leaves just your wick nice and wet and perfect. It's a very simple mod, highly durable, lightweight aluminum mod. Um, one of the things I wanted to try and do was to give you a little size comparison of it. This is the Rio's Mods business card right here. Let's see if you hold it up next to any mod. It's the size of a business card, but it's not nearly as wide, okay? Any one of them. These are all Rio Grands, by the way. The width of one is, what, a little wider than an 18650 battery? Slightly wider than an 18650 battery. They come in many different colors, finishes, types. You know, this is called the SL. You can mix and match and buy doors. This is a full SL mod with an SL door. This one's the same. I, that's my. These are my favorites. Here's one that's not SL. This is. You can get them in many different ways. These are all low profile models. The low profile means that from a standard grand like the grands of yesterday, they still sell them today for people that want them. This is a much shorter height. And it's made to it's made to um, accommodate pretty much any size rebuildable dripping atomizer. You can see I have the gamut here. I've got an Odin V1, I've got a Rogue, I've got a Hellboy. That's pretty tight, isn't it? That square one on there. That's beast. Okay, got a Derringer here. That's what it's all about now: is big drippers, little drippers. You've seen the size. I mean, the size of it. It's not nearly as big as. Any picture will ever make it look. Here's my hand on one. But let's get into some important facts. This, they also now have an adjustable stainless steel pin. There's a crush proof gasket in there. You cannot, and the old ones used to have like this rubber, silicone, blah, 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 with brass, no brass. It's all stainless steel. It's adjustable with an Allen, a hex key. I just happen to have it here, but they're reverse threaded so that when you tighten your atomizer, you tighten down against it. It makes an excellent connection. So you no longer have to worry about doing any damage. As you can see, that's a burly stainless steel connection. The whole, this whole 510 is all new right down here. Why don't we take a look inside there, and I'll show you the hot swappability feature of it. Basically, all your, you, you just pull this hose off now. No tube, no glue. This is a brand new, I've never taken it off yet. No glue required. And let's look inside at the simplicity of a Rio mod. Have, should you ever need to rebuild one? Now let's talk about this screw. If there is a weak point on a Rio Grand, and this isn't a weak point, what it is is your mind is weak if, if you did. You just have to remember, this is aluminum. Durable aluminum. It doesn't chip, crack, any of that stuff. It doesn't deform. I've got a video where I try and destroy one and I can't. Um, did destroy a battery though. But this screw requires care. Um, otherwise, the mod would have to be about a foot thick, okay? Taking it out, it's a no-brainer. It's when you put it in that you want to use care. You don't want to wrench it. And that's not even going to destroy your reel. It's probably going to send it back to Rob. He, he can fix it. But it's something that this screw, when you put it back in, when we go to do it, you're going to want to use care because you're screwing into that little hole in a thin body of aluminum. It's probably grabbing, what, three or four threads on this, if even that, two or three. But it does its job just fine. 
here's what's under the hood. Again, a gold-plated beryllium copper contact, a melt-proof button. I shouldn't say melt-proof. If you build stupid low, lower than your battery can handle, let's put it like that. If you build below the safe amp rating of your battery, you probably could melt this peak button. Um, and then this nipple right here, stainless steel nipple. It's e it just easily unscrews, easily goes back on. I've taken it off myself a few times. That's it. This is, the, this, is this mod. This is what makes it function. Just so anybody knows, and this is just a Delrin insert that goes inside the mod that I took out. So that's it. The hose no longer goes up under. There's no glue. There's no secret gunk or anything in there. It's just a pressed in 510. So in 2015, major change with the body of the mods that SL came out in about 2014. They're offering a lot of different colors and options now. Again, the big thing is this LP, these contacts, this connector, this hot swabble. So if you haven't looked at Rio's mods in a while, because maybe you remember an experience you might have with an old one when you're trying to use like there's what like two bottom fed addies available to mankind like what were they called i'm trying to think back in my day a hornet an era and there's another one uh, an a7 well now you can see that there's there's pretty much any addy you want either already comes bottom fed or there's people that bottom feed them and rob himself at rio has a hell of a selection of bottom fed mods riosmods.com hopefully you can see all this stuff this is rob's contact information one thing i'll go out there and say too i've known rob for about three years now i've started to talk to him more and more over the last year or so um when you call there he might joke around with you and say johnny's mod shack he does that to me but you can't miss his voice i mean to him this this isn't this isn't a mod it's a mod and he's rob you know he's got a he's a mainer so you get this, I love that boy. It's so much cooler than this freaking redneck stuff I got going on. But anyhow, you, when you call that number or you email this dude right here, Rio at riosmods.com or go to his website and call there, you get Rob. And Rob, I mean, he could talk to you all day if you want to. He's that kind of guy. You're not dealing with some robot. You're not dealing with an answering machine. If the phone doesn't pick up, it's because Rob probably went out to go ship some mods. I don't even think the dude ever takes a vacation. But what a cool dude, what a killer product. He's been making them for years. There was a resurgence for a while, but I think people are starting to forget just how how much it means to have a mod that you just can't break. I mean, no, it's not chipped. Who needs a chip in a mod? I mean, yeah, that's probably cool and nice, but in a squonker, first of all, if you're not squonking, I don't know what you're doing, but um, I squonk. Squonking is just what I showed you. you charge your atomizer with this thing you fill it with that juice goes up and you simply hey do that every few hits and you're in great shape six milliliter bottle so that's that now let's put it back oh the other thing you want to do and you don't have to take this apart to do it, but these contacts and these mechanical mods and any mechanical mod requires maintenance first thing I do when I get a brand new Rio is I have two products now um, the oxid red, I use this on my batteries, or if you ever got your contacts so black here, you don't file or sand these contacts. This deoxid is just really for the batteries or if that ever, ever got black. But if you maintain your mod, if you're building below 0.5 ohms, 0 0.5 ohms, I would say about every two weeks, you're smart just to go like this. Uh, as soon as I get a mod from Rob, I do it, and I've never had a contact turn any color. You just get a little deoxid gold. You put a little bit right here on the top of the spring. Okay, put a little bit on this positive contact here and you are freaking done, okay? Same with your batteries. You get a battery in a mechanical mod. This run, the Rio Grande runs on an 18650. This is an AWIMR, 1600 MAH. 2200 MAH runs good too. I'd steer you clear of the, um, the 2000s. They just they don't they don't have they have the amps to cover most builds where it is is they don't stay above four volts that long so you don't if you're doing anything below an ohm a little bit here a little bit here of the red thanks fuzzy bruce for telling me about the red by the way fuzzy bruce is the man and that's it then what i do with my battery i don't wipe it off the mod i do it with my battery and again once every like two weeks and i'm building that point four that's it you will never get a dark in contact you'll never get pitting on your batteries any damage you see here is from my charger, um, but the, the battery just sits in the mod like this. I, let me put, the, put it back together. It needs to be together first. 
but that's it. And all that can be done with this in place. You really, the only, you would never really ever have to take this thing off. You'll never ever have to send this mod back to Rob, unless I don't know what you would do. Drop it off the Grand Canyon. I think it might even su su survive that. Your battery won't. The only reason I can see you ever sending this back to Rob is if you screw up what I'm about to do right here. And that's putting in this screw. And all the screw takes is to be snug. Without it, the mod won't operate, okay? Just so anybody knows, your firing pin, it will, it will auto fire. And I'm about to get in there, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it, and right when I feel it, I don't mean, and that's it, you just let up. You don't go, okay, one more. I can probably go just a hair more, because I mean, that moving a little bit is fine. That's it. Everything's held together with magnets. The magnets stick awesome. Should one ever come out, they're very easy to put in. I mean, occasionally you'll just you lose one. It's very rarely happens. It's happened to me in, what, two and a half years of using nothing but Rios. It's happened maybe twice to me. Has a magnet come out? But that's it. So now your deal is back on. So now you want to get back to vaping, right? And there, now the bottle's off. I can just get this thing. You see that? There, that's it. I pulled it right back off. That's how slick I am. There you go. See that? I cut my little inverted V in the bottom of this thing so it doesn't suction to the side of the bottle. That's something you'll do when you get it. Rob likes to keep the hoses nice and long. And let you do what you want to the bottom of them, right? So then what you're going to do is you're going to, um, very simple solutions here. This is a six milliliter bottle is what this takes. You're just going to put the cap on right here like so. And what I always do is over slide it up on there. And this song is for you. If you're not vaping at Rio's Mod, you just listen to what he's saying. He's saying so much time I've wasted. I haven't wasted any time. As soon as I got my first one, I knew. I, I knew right then and there that this was the deal. Um, I'm not a regulated mod guy. I don't want stuff to break. I want to know that whatever I do to this mod, like I said, I got a video where I torture test. One, it's a boring video, but the torture testing is fine. I just happen to over talk myself. Um, that's it. Now, putting the bottle on is that easy, but what I tend to do now, see this bottle's getting low for me. I'll, I'll usually switch it unless I'm like sitting at home, but if I'm going out, what I do is I have a whole bunch of filled bottles already on hand, okay? So all I do is I ha usually have one ready. Let's, I'll take you through my whole procedure. Like imagine this was my mod right here. And I say, I wake up and I go, or it's whatever, I'm about to head out and I go, dang Russ, that's low, man. Let's put some more juice in there. First thing I do is I prep one by taking the top off, okay? And just set it off to the side. I got it ready. Now you're not using any paper towels. You're not using anything. You hold the top of this thing, take this bottle off, and that's it. So rather than filling a bunch of bottles, like a bottle here, like every day or something, I fill them all when they get empty. I just take them all and I fill them. So now I got a full bottle on there, I'm good to go. This one goes in its little trusty spot here. Basically, uh-oh, I broke it. Just kidding, this is a friggin' Rio's mod. You, you can't break them. That's my way of filling right there. You get this little thing like an art supply store. You wash out all the pink, blues, and green paints, and then you got a little nifty bottle holder. It fits perfectly up in my little stash deal. And you're good to go at that point. You're squonking like a mad woman, or a madman, whatever you are, or a freak like me. Okay, that's that. Battery goes in, no tools needed, nothing. I don't have fingernails either. There's nothing secret about it. And that's it. You are good to go. What I do notice, uh, what I like to run on a Rio mod is an O-ring. Now we have these new connectors out. Okay, these new connectors are very different from other ones. They're all stainless. Um, they're, they're a little larger. This is the size O-ring you will want to use. Hopefully you can read that. See, I mean, my lights seem to be very bright when I'm looking. Hopefully I can they're 9 16 inch outside diameter by 7 16 inch inside diameter by 1 16 of an inch. I run them under all my Addies. I never get a drop of juice anywhere unless it's operator error and I over squonk. And that will only happen on Addies that I don't really run very much. I'm not very big on over squonking. So there you go. Let's go through putting an atomizer on it. What I typically will do is adjust some, remember this reverse threaded, so tight would be this way. When you just slip an, a hex key, again, this is just a standard hex key, it just happens to be in this tool that tightens it. So I loosen it up a little bit, like so. I grab my atomizer of choice without the cap, because the cap won't allow you to get the tightness. And remember back in the day that it was, don't wrench down on your Addy. No, you wouldn't want to do that. It's the opposite now. 
you want it, and I'm not saying wrench by getting like a pair of ice grips or channel locks, but I'm saying you want that thing tight and I want to compress that o-ring. So this is going to be fun because it's a little wet. But anyway, sit with me through this and I'll show you how I go about doing it. So you're just going to grab it and I want those things on the side. So what I'm going to do is just loosen it and tighten it till I get my air holes where I want them. You'll feel it starting to move. And we're compressing the o-ring and as I'm coming out on it, I'm loosening up. I'm turning in, because remember it's reverse threaded, I'm turning in that screw. You're just gonna keep going like that. Pressing down on it helps, it'll grab until you get it to where you want it. Now, anyway, you get the picture, right? And then once you get it on there, you just want that thing nice and tight. I'll adjust on my own time and got it turned off. Oh, they do have an auto, they have, not an auto lock, what am I saying? The switch locks by putting it like that. It takes it out of fire mode, it can't fire. Like if you're gonna pocket it or if you're gonna rebuild it and you don't wanna take your battery out, and then to turn it on, as you can see in there, it just has a little catch and a detent. And um, it's on. I mean, it's on. So I thought it, to me, this was an important time to make a video to bring you up to speed on the 2015 models of Rio's mods. They are not your father's Oldsmobile. They can be your father's Oldsmobile. They can be your soft, delicate deal, or they can be the hardcore deal. I like mine, I'm right on the verge of hardcore and I've never had a problem with it. In the event that everything does go wrong, this spring will drop and save your butt. Um, the battery will fall away. That's a safety mechanism that's in there. And that's it. So this thing is good to go. We're rocking and rolling. Check out riosmods.com. Check out Rob. Give him a call. Talk to him. Go on Rio's Mods forum on ECF and look, all, look at it. Look at what people have said. It's probably the most active form on there. You're going to get all the help you'd ever even think of needing, if, if you ever needing. And it's a lot of people to share your camaraderie with. Us Rio Knots are a tight-knit bunch. And um, I hope you enjoy this. I hope that it lets you know that this is everything you need in a mod and more. Um, this is Super X saying see ya.